She's cracked away. It's a nice shot by Deshmoyne. And he's been strong in this area off the back foot. Very powerful on the offside. Gets the first boundary of the game. And, uh, that's exactly what he did, Rohit. He has been good through that area. He does have hit in his name. That's exactly what he did right there. I can tell you why. I've got the golden. So that's, uh, get a bit annoyed. So, harmless, though. This one's a nice shot and a bit of foot fielding, and it'll go through the field, and that should reach the boundary, and it does just. Oh, it hasn't. I think it has. Wow. Let's have a look. <laughs> I think it I think it touched the line. I think they might have had a good view to have it down there. Wow, well, it's chaos here, and that bit's in the sand, so it's marked by the flags. And it's precision. Let's have a look, yeah. And everyone gave up on it, and I thought it might have just stopped. Might have. I, I don't like think you that can't touched tell. the line. You can't tell. It's been given. It's been given four. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. out. Yeah, Sharma doesn't drop him. He'll try it. <laughs> it's a nice cream cone. But, uh, well, he's a very reliable fielder. Hey, Sharma, a lot of people are wa enjoying watching him. So we good for Nawab. It was quite in the middle of their hands. And he said, well, don't worry, I've got this, guys. Let's put him right again. Yeah, it goes in that direction again. You see, it's a very low-risk option. It was almost six, but it will bounce inside the field to play four more runs. Just uh, freely hitting over the top. Yeah, any risk there is a miscue or maybe a little nick behind. But, yeah, any kind of bat on it now it does force that field change. Oh, it gets this one good. Uh, it's gone a long way. In fact, it's gone all the way. That's going to be Maximo time. And, well, have a look at this one again. It's a nice shot. I think it's gone all the way. Yeah. Yeah, it's one of the hazards of, of, of being a cricket player. And this one gets over the offside. It was just a little bit too short from Pandit. Gave the batsman the length and the width to use. And four runs to Pandit. Nice shot. Yeah, just over the top. He does just that. And it could be a catch for Sharma. Comes in and holds on to the catch. So, well, Pandit did get it right that time. I called it before that ball. Had to get four. Had to get straight up. The ball went up in the air. Sharma takes a safe catch. And well, a bit unnatural. Oh, this one's hit well, and there's no one back here. I think that one will go all the way. It does. Maximo. Six runs to Kandik Gopalakrishnan. He moves into the 20s, and they move past 50 off the last ball of the sixth over. Oh, and he knocks him over, and he gets the captain, Pabaraju, who I think had premeditated a little dab down the third man. He identified. So he's thinking about the dab. Uh, it's about as low percentage as you can get. And <laughs> Paparaju has to go. Get a little contribution of 10 to run a ball. There he goes for it. Gets a bit of length to work with. Hits it pretty well. In fact, he will get a boundary. The new bats in some length. I said he probably full and straight is where to go. But well, Suta gets under it and he gets four. Short nails it. But the fielder comes in and takes it. Wow, what a catch that is. And Deshmok, he's been in the wars. And, uh, well, and a good innings by Karthik Gopalakrishnan of 36. With two balls remaining, it's 85 for four. I like this celebration. This one's in the air as well. And Bagel's going to call for it himself. And he takes the catch. So, there we go. It's going to say who will face the last ball. And, in fact, it'll be a hat-trick ball for Bagel. And we have seen it before, the hat-trick. Off the last three balls, the innings. It's time, Miguel. It's good. Slow ball, and it's been hammered, and it could be out, or it could be six. <laughs> oh, it's a big difference. And uh, well, I think if it went to a fielder that was in the line of the ball, it might have been a catch, but it was well positioned in the gap. It bisected the fieldsman, and that's going to actually take them up into the 90s. So 91 for five off their 10 overs, the rooks. And well. Have him new sing. That doesn't look like Joshy. No, yeah, that's, that's the captain, I think. I remember Gawley out there. That makes sense. Yeah, I think you made a point that um, all the players haven't had much, much good will. That's pretty close. I think it's going. It's got him. It's just the point of impact. That's the question. Yeah, well, I think that's pretty adjacent. I don't think that's him outside it, the line. It definitely looked ugly. Yeah, and, I think uh, that's out. I mean, you can see. Problem is, you can't see the stumps, mm. but. Goes after it, but he hasn't quite got it. And Panelit's under the ball, and he holds on to it. 
Yeah, well, this one is a nasty one for Paddle. I think it might have got him on the end of the thumb. I'll be thankful, at least for the result. Yeah, that one has just got perhaps new to the sport. There's something for everyone here at European Cricket Network. And, well, there's more free runs on offer here. And this one, I think it's probably gone all the way. And it has Maximo. Six runs. And, uh, well, they are going absolutely crazy. <laughs> and they've had to wait a while. United, they finish. Oh, this is a good shot. Now it's pitched up outside the off stump, and he went with it. And, well, Bagel's looking good here. Back in the 11 for this game. He takes a big stride towards the ball and hits through the line. A beautiful lofted cover drive. Four more runs to United. It's a lovely shot. And he's... Um... Oh, this is going to help, though. This one's racing away. It'll be a good stop. And it's a good effort, in fact. From Gopala Krishnan. Use the skittiness to his advantage. his advantage there. The batsman gets a little bit of bat on this. They glances it for four. He's going to sacred. And... Now, this is beautifully driven away. It was catchable height, but it found the gap. And it's four more runs. And uh, he's taking them closer and closer to that uh, the target of 92 is Piyush. Happy man you seeing also. He's uh... goes up in the air. And there's nobody in that region. The fielder's not going to catch this one either. So it's going to be four more. And a fourth boundary in the over. And well, in fact, it's 18 off the over in the end. So, well... Oh, and he knocks him over, and that's good reward for Dipin Kumar Patel. The dots creating the pressure, and the Rooks, they are playing to stay alive. They needed someone to stand up, and Dipin Kumar Patel comes up with the big moment, and it finishes. Short rubbish. It's been pulled away over the top, and that'll be four runs. Yeah, he gets it wrong, panel it. And I know it's a tough one, because really, Pierce Pigels look good wherever you bowled to him. In the personal milestone, even though I feel like it'd be a chance here. And well, it gets away from the fielder, and he does get his half century with a boundary. And what an innings it's been from Piyush Singh Bagal. He moves to 51 of 21 balls and was in the air. And you thought that Gunasaker had a chance at it. This is well struck by Nawab. And well, he's going to get a boundary of his own. Well, the perfect start for Mustafa. And well, panel it. It just hasn't worked for him. Once again, he's been expensive. This over's gone for 15 with the ball remaining. Oh, and he's knocked him over. He's done it again and has a huge wicket. And the Rooks, they're fighting for their lives. They get the big wicket of Piyush Bagel. He goes for 52. And this game is alive. There's four runs required of four balls. There's going to be a new batsman in the crease, Danny. Oh, this has uh, been a really good game. And it's hard to, to talk about classic games when you've got uh, two teams that are struggling. Oh, well, this is going to be a run out. I'm sure it will be. Whoa. Oh, he's done it. Oh, Patel. <laughs> oh, this is amazing cricket. Well, firstly, full toss, driven away. Look, there's no run here. And he just, he's darted it. And Nawab, he is an absolute magician. On strike to Patel. One to tie, two to win. They're going to get one, surely. We're going to have another golden ball. Whoa. Oh, unbelievable stuff. It's going to be 91-91. And now the Rooks, they've got a golden ball to keep their tournament alive. Golden ball number 16 to finish the day in Prague. It's going to be Dipan Kumar Patel bowling to Sharmal Joshi. Two to win for United. We get something. Surely they're not getting two here. They can go to the keeper. He'll have all day. And they're going to have to go. Oh, oh no. Watch out. Oh, they have to knock over the stumps. United are going to win. They're going to win. Oh, I can't believe this. He knocked him over with the batsman in his crease. And Sharmal Joshua was coming back. And that's the correct decision from the umpire. Wow. Oh, we'll have a look at this. You see Pangaka, he's alert to it. He doesn't go for the second straight away. He says, well, come to me. He says, come to me. He waits. He waits, you see here, and then he goes. That's brilliant. And that's smart play. And Joshi eventually got with the program. And well, the slowest man on the field slides in for the win for United. And United are going to win the game. <laughs> Isn't he happy? Shaimal Joshi, he is super happy. Oh, what a heartbreaker as well. That's fantastic awareness. And you, and you can't argue something like the ball's dead because you've got them attempting a second run. And even though Amit Pangaka didn't go straight away, it's going to be two runs.